Hey everybody, this is Fran Frischella, draft expert and basketball junkie. To everybody who's watching, let's get our friends at General Manager Games the subscribers they deserve. Just press that red subscriber button and immerse yourself in sports AI through GM Games content. And on Twitter, it's GM underscore games. Let's get after it. Let's go. Hello, everyone. And uh, my name is The Real G. Wood, and we're going to uh, just go right into it, I guess. So um, we're going to make a, uh, an FBGM league on um, Football GM here. And um, we're just going to go as far as we want. Um, I don't know how many parts the series will have. Um, I'll kind of go in and out of the speed here. I'm just going to do a random team. You know, if I get fired, I'll just move on to another team. Um, I like to watch list my, my top quarterback, so we'll call it uh, Stream 2. Uh, we'll start in 2020. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to start in 2000, just for, I guess, uh, shits and giggles, so to speak. Um, and let's see. Difficulty. Let's be real, we're doing this on insane mode, and, uh, yeah. So, we may win a championship, might get fired a ton of times. Uh, we're just gonna have some fun with it, you know? Um, and, uh, I, I like to start off with a fantasy draft, but I feel like if I do that, it's kinda give me a little unfair advantage, so instead, I'm, I'm gonna just make some trades right off the bat here. Um, let's see, uh, I'm gonna move basically everyone. You know, gear one's gonna be absolutely horrible. But uh, I like to do that because it gives me a little bit more connection to my team, you know? So, let's see. Anything really great we can get for our starting quarterback? Um, nothing truly great rearing its head. I guess I'm going to do the second round pick here. Um, you can normally get a really solid player, but not normally a quarterback there. Let's see. We'll, uh, we'll also include... Honestly, I didn't get a lot of great value with this uh, with RNG here, so I, I guess I'm just going to kind of keep with the trading and just go for a rebuild. Um, yeah, we'll do we'll do another second, I guess, and uh, we'll just keep getting those seconds. We should be able to get more. This is uh, probably the most valuable player on our team, or one of the most. Um, see what we can get for him. Maybe a first round pick? No. Not looking like even a first round here. Hard mode be hard. Um, let's see. I guess we're going for another second. We're going to get lots of seconds here. Um, DJ Dot. That's actually a really cool night. You're, you're staying. You're staying. You're going to be the OG here. Um, cornerbacks can be hard to find, so I actually don't know if I'm going to move on from him. We'll see. If I get, if I can get like a second, I'll do it, but, ooh, this isn't bad at all. I think I'll do this one here. Um, also, I think I spawned in St. Louis, right? Yeah, yeah, I spawned in St. Louis, and now I got Chris St. Louis. That man's going to get on the hall, or the ring of honor, or a retired jersey. That guy's going to be a legend, Chris St. Louis. You'll remember that name. Um, we'll move Morden. Anything good here? Not, not a ton. Yeah, not, not seeing too much. I guess this is a cap and some later picks. Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna do that. Let's see. Can we get anything else of value? Um. Willie Secudo. See, I, I really... I don't know. I, I find rebuilding from the bottom up to be a more of a, a fun challenge than starting, like, halfway in the middle. And it also is kind of easier from a strategy standpoint here. Let me get some picks. Actually, uh, a lockdown uh, um, uh, defensive back, too. It's a nice pickup. Let's see. Christian Thomas. All right. Oh, wow. A second round pick for him. Did not expect that. 
All right. That actually, that's a fleece on our part, I think. You did die, Morden. Okay. You know, I, I want, you know, I'm like, I'm going to keep him. We're going to have a pretty solid defense, actually. Um, Our defense is going to be pretty okay. I'd love to move a couple of these receivers, especially the older ones. If I can move all three of these guys, I'm going to be happy, to be entirely honest. Like, I don't even need that cap. That cap is going to be a problem. All right. So, I should have a ton of cap space. Yeah, I have 100 million. Um, we'll see, is there anyone decent out there? Not really. But, I have six spots open, so we'll go by potential. And, um, we'll go with, uh, running back. Wow. Not much out there at all. I guess we'll do Givens. He has potential, supposedly. Um, we'll do wide receivers. Brandon McKenzie. Actually, it looks like he can also throw the ball, so who knows? Maybe useful gadget guy. And Donovan Jones. All right, and then we'll also pick up a linebacker. Is there anything decent? Yeah, there's a decent prospect, actually. Yeah, um, and Pete Shepard might even be able to start for us. So, and then I, I personally like to carry an extra kicker, um, but this is mostly just so I can make sure that I have one in the backup spots because replacing a kicker or having some random dude get kicker stats mid-season is rough. Um, with that, we'll just go straight into it here. Um, let's see, what's Morden's speed? 77. Let's see, what is Travis Johnson's speed? 55. All right, yeah, I'm definitely going to run with that. Um, actually, I'm going to give McKenzie some touches, too. Uh, you know, I'm just going to have fun with this first season here. So, we'll go to, uh, team finances. And, um... We'll lower this to, like, zero, and lower this to, like, zero, and uh, we'll actually raise this to 40, and we'll raise this to 40. There we go. Um, and auto sort one more time, running back, moving up McKenzie like we just did, um, looking at wide receiver, that's going to be pretty pretty solid uh cd lawrence is kind of going to be like our um or cecile lawrence getting him confused with cd lamb already damn cd lamb's like already imprinted on my brain that's that's crazy but i guess fantasy football does that to you um we got two solid tight ends i'm gonna start shane williams instead um just because he has the uh the badge hands so are we pretty solid we actually have a a really competent o-line uh, and I'm, I'm really excited about that early on. Uh, our defense is not bad by any stretch. Um, I'd like to pick up some guys in free agency. I kind of want to go for a hard-hitting defense here, you know. Um, there we go. Looking at kick returners here. Um, we're going to kind of give Morden some touches, you know. Um, and Morden's kind of going to be our, our, our gadget guy this season. McKenzie will also play a bit in the gadget role. I like having, like, a gadget guy if possible. Honestly, we did better than I imagined. Uh, Ricardo Edwards picking up uh, two interceptions. Is he a safety? Nope. What, what position does Ricardo... A linebacker? Wow. Did not expect that, but two picks in one game. All right. Um. So, Chris Connolly, our quarterback, not the wide receiver. Already with four interceptions. That's not great. Running back, well, Morden did not look good. McKenzie also didn't look good. But Travis Johnson looked okay. And wide receiver-wise, Cecile looking good. We'll, uh, we'll see if week two gets a little bit better. So we did win. Actually, no picks this time from Connolly. So that's helpful. We got a little bit more action in a positive direction from uh, Morton. Uh, from a wide receiver standpoint, Morden still not really putting up any stats here. Um, even McKenzie getting a little bit more uh, involved. Um, I guess we'll see if we can get any production uh, from our quarterback here. We're still under 200 yards passing. Actually just had his best game of the season in a, in a pretty convincing loss. But um, it, honestly, it's, our, it's, our, it's my gadget guys that are really struggling here. 
I'm going to sim up to, so on pace, you know, Travis Johnson, he's not really putting up some great stats, supposedly, but he's actually just shy of a 1,000 yards on the season, like, uh, per pace, but still zero touchdowns. Um, from a quarterbacking standpoint, we're up to six picks with Connolly. He's averaging just over 100 yards a game. Um, I've kind of seen enough, so to speak. I'm going to put in uh, Little John. Um, but I, I low-key think McKenzie's going to be our best quarterback on the season. Hint, hint, might play him later in the season. Um, so let's see, next game here. Uh, we actually picked up a win. Good win with three sacks. He's a beast. I love it. Um, did Johnson get injured? Because he put up... He must have gotten injured, right? Yeah, so Travis Johnson got injured, sprained his finger, and that really hurt his... Uh, his stats for the game, but McKenzie did step up. So McKenzie's now looking like he could be potentially pretty viable um, as the gadget guy for us going forward. And I think Morgan really was struggling with that. Robertson's shown a little bit of speed, so maybe we'll give him a little bit more play there. Um, McKenzie also got a decent role in the passing game. He's also probably going to be our starting wide receiver fairly soon. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Next game here, our starting quarterback soon. Um, my bad on that. Uh, Storm Gonzalez, that's a cool name. I think I saw him at safety. No. 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 What position do you play, Storm? One second. He is a 36... That man is getting started. That man is getting started quick. Storm Gonzalez. Dude, I have the I have five picks on my linebackers here. My linebackers are basically de uh, defensive backs now. How do you like them apples? Will John's playing significantly better, and McKenzie's actually popping off as a uh, as, um, like a backup running back that can also get some receptions, but, um, oh, that was not a particularly strong week from Little John, we'll see if he does a little bit better, oh my god, that's nasty, that's, I think the most I've ever been blown out in a game, wow, they didn't even have that good an offensive game, I, yeah, we actually had a, a, a very, uh, I mean, just a bad quarterback performance, but, like, they, they should not be in this. Nope. They should not have. Um, With that, I, I'm going to put McKenzie in because, wow, imagine throwing under 100 yards a game, getting absolutely killed. That's what happened. So McKenzie will start at quarterback. I want to see how he does. Uh, His first game, all right, we lost... So, we lost a running back, so he was actually playing double duties, basically. Um, yeah, he wasn't horrid at quarterback, touchdown end a pick, but he already lost a fumble. Um, in the next game, I'm going to probably need to play him at running back due to injury, so I guess I want to put Little John back in. I don't know, maybe I'm making a bad... Oh, no, it worked, it worked. So, uh, we'll see how crazy this game would have been. So, my starting quarterback, who is my backup running back and fourth string or fourth wide receiver, started at quarter or was starting at quarterback, but moved to the bench. Little John actually went off, and McKenzie got hurt. Oh no! Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Brad Robertson popped off though. That's actually kind of helpful. Um. That's going to give me a lot of flexibility when it comes to running back because now I'm able to. I I didn't trust him going into that game, but he actually had a pretty solid game, so he's going to kind of slot in now as the primary backup running back. Granted, Travis Johnston is the guy. I don't think he's going to be my guy long term because he isn't really putting up great stats, and I don't have a bad O line. Granted, I have no passing game at all, literally none. My passing game is absolutely trash, but um, that will go. I do want him to add a bye week feature. That'd be cool if you could see your bye week rather than it just kind of randomly happening. Also, I don't know if trade deadline should be a bye week, but I think it plays off as one. So, 
we go. Oh. Absolutely killed. I don't know. Could have been worse, though. Could have been worse. Oh, Brad Robertson got hurt, too. Dude, injuries are messing with us. That's why you don't lower your health too much. Morden's hurt again. Honestly, Lawrence will probably pass 100 um, catches on the season. But TBD on that. Very much TBD on if he's going to even be performing with that. Um, oh, we picked up a win. Actually, you know, McKenzie isn't doing too bad as a quarterback. You know, he's not great. He's definitely not great. But, like, stat-wise, you know, he's putting up pretty solid stats here. He's at 300 yards rushing, 600 passing, uh, and almost 100 receiving. Um, yeah, Just keep putting up those stats, McKenzie, you know. You're going to be, like, the most viable fantasy football player people have ever seen. Oh, damn, we are eliminated kind of quick. But aren't we? Yeah, we're 6-8. and eight. Honestly, I was expecting this team to be so much worse. But we've been, like, kind of competent, which is scary. Mackenzie's actually finishing with a strong end of the season here. Um, Travis Johnson going to have... No! <laughs> Travis Johnson's basically paid him barba. No! <laughs> oh. D damn. Ah, uh, could be worse. Wow. That's a lot of retirements for year one. But Storm Gonzalez didn't retire, so I'll take it. A running back won MVP. That's pretty rare, but I, I don't know. I like to see that. All right. I'm curious. Did my team make money that season? So, league finances, I think, is where I can check that. Though. Profit. I made $25 million and I barely missed the playoffs. That's not too bad. All right. My first ever draft pick. I could draft Seth Williams. I kind of want to go build a strong line. DJ Max probably the most value I'd get. I think I'll do DJ Mac. And then I'm gonna draft a line. What type of player is Curtis? Ooh. He's a pretty tall boy. Honestly, he he won't be the worst quarterback. So I think I'm gonna go with Curtis here. Um Will Hunter. Oh, and then, you, I, I don't know, Matt Brown, Josh Davis could potentially factor into our running game. Um, That's a pretty cool name. That's why you're getting picked. All right. So now it comes time for signing. I'm not sure I'm a fan that rookies don't get signed. I kind of wish rookies had an option under negotiate where they were signed. Already, but you could opt out of signing them, um, like, in this screen. So, like, they've already agreed to a deal. And then maybe make it, like, a one in, like, a thousand chance the rookie refuses to sign his tenure. Like, Eli Manning style. Um, because you're just not a big enough city. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know, being from Boston. Oh, damn. Goodwin doesn't want to resign. Being from Boston, I call it J.D. Drew Syndrome. Just because I know J.D. Drew did that. I don't even know where he did it. I just know he did. So, here we go. We'll uh, keep our kicker even though they're garbage. Um, honestly, I think I'm just going to bring... I'm going to sign DJ to a big deal. I'm going to bring in Jack. Um, I like Hunter. I think he could be a long-term tight end for us. Oh, probably not too bad. Honestly, Drake's not... A bad starter. Um, Mackenzie, yeah, he wants cheap. Keep him around for a while. Um, I'm going to commit to Lafu. You know, if he works out, great. If he doesn't, no biggie. 
Josh Davis as well, you know. Sign these young guys long term. Um, Stuart Schnester has a cool name. He'll stay. Uh, Donovan Jones did like nothing. I don't want to re-sign Travis. I don't know why he wants so much money. He was awful. He was like absolutely horrid. All right. So let's see. We'll get rid of this. I guess we'll start with a kicker. Um, I want a young kicker with potential. Robert Mason. All right. We're going to start with kickers here. Boom. Seven-year deal. Next up. Let's find uh, some defensive stars, you know, some anchors. Um, none of them want to sign with me. Are you kidding? Nope. None of them want to sign with me. Let's look at linebacker. Maybe we'll have, we do have some better luck. All right. Already Avery Martin wants to sign with us. We'll bring him in. We're actually going to be a good defense. That's kind of my goal. I want to be a good defense. Let's see. Austin Byron's is coming off a pretty good year. I'll bring him on a one-year deal, you know. Uh, O-line. I'm kind of going to pick up some quality O-line guys. For the sake of, you know, if my O-line is good this season, and I pick up a quality running back, which is what I'm looking at right now, uh, let's see, any of these guys have big potential seasons? Not really. I like Tremaine Prince. He's actually coming off of a pretty promising season. So, I guess I'll bring him in on a three-year deal. Um, and I could, in theory, bring in Chad Carter. He didn't do a ton last season, but... You know... No, I don't think I'm going to bring Chad Carter in. Tempted, but I don't think it's going to be worth it. Let's see... Quincy Williams has potential, so we'll see. Maybe I can get I can get something out of him if he works out. And then we'll look at some wide receiver options. The G Matthews could be a really good second wide receiver for us. Um, tight end. You can always find a decent pass catching tight end for cheap. Greg Baker will be that guy for us. Uh, looking at back at O-line. Let's see, yeah, this season I'm going to kind of spend money so I don't get fired because I already developed a little bit of cash so I can figure that out. Um, might raise ticket sales a little bit. Let's see, any decent cheap linebackers? Yeah, there we go. Um, Not seeing anything particularly great right now out there. I kind of want to see if there's a decent quarterback, you know? There is nothing out there for quarterbacks. I guess yeah, Kim Daniels won't even sign this thing. I was like, maybe I'll throw a big bag of this potential. But no, he doesn't even want to sign. Um, Drew Rose... I thought it was Derrick Rose, but it wasn't. I guess he'll get signed as my fourth string QB. Um, and I'll bring one more running back, you know. Because last season we burnt through them real quick. Um, let's see, none of these guys really, like, are jumping out of the page for me. Um, I guess Daryl Marshall will work. And with that, we're just going to go straight into the season. We got some cap space, but that's mostly just because we're not a great team. I don't want to get fired day one. Um, and with that, we are going into the next season. So I'm going to pause it, uh, and then I'll see you guys in the next episode.